Hello guys and what is up? This is Silence Pew Pew and we're coming at you guys with another video. Today guys we are doing another part of the Ostrovic series. So today is going to be episode 2. If you haven't, go back, check out episode 1. Uh, it's going to give you a little brief explanation of everything that we're going to be doing. Um, and how we got to this point here. How we got all of our houses built and got a few extra things done or and or started. Um, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and jump right into this now. And boom. Okay, so we're going to unpause uh, the farm here. Get them go ahead and finish that up. Um, get the farm finished. Smithy's all done. We got our guy smithing in there. He's making some nails for us. Wonderful. Um, we're going to keep the thatch dude. You know, we're just going to keep him in there. Um important thing to do a while uh, is cart parks. Yep, there it is. Cart parks. Get your cart parks uh, basically everywhere. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one here in the main, in the center of the city. Whoopsies. Um, just because it's kind of in the way. We're going to put one like right here up against basically. It's going to look a little odd, but not really. Um, cart parks are one of the biggest uh, things to um, basically provide resource movement. Um, the more carts you have, the more people can carry stuff. Um, if we could just find some even terrain. Okay, cool. So we're going to build another cart park here to get these resources here. As you can see, like, they're using all three of these carts for clay for basically the same buildings. Uh, we are going to go ahead and tell them to continue these ones as well. Uh, get those houses built. Um, as these two aren't necessarily needed, but we do need this farm up and running pretty much before winter is done. Um, <clears throat> hopefully we can get some market stalls in here uh, and then start getting some new new people in, because that'll be fun. At this moment in time, since there's nothing really going to be going on, we are going to fast forward. Uh, we do have our farm here finished up. We're going to go ahead and hire a bunch of people for that. We're going to hire all five, get some laborers in here, um, do whatever it kind of takes at this point uh, to get those fields up and running. Um, like last time, uh, we talked about this. Uh, if you did not watch my first season, we will go. this one will be doing um, less mistakes. Uh, so the first one, uh, first mistake we made was not having... Um, sunflower. Uh, I still strongly, full-heartedly believe sunflower is basically a must um, in this game for starting off. Um, we tried it last time and it slowed down our progress so much um, once we got to like four or five years in. I'm not sure if there's a way to combat in that necessarily, a different approach to it. Um, so what we've got here is we've got our six fields set up um this one we are eventually going to delete this field here once we expand a bit more and we'll just add another farm we're eventually going to switch this to a five crop rotation and we'll eventually get a farm that's sole focus is to make sunflower uh, i might put it over here way back over there something along those lines but for now we're going to have a farm that's dedicated to feeding our people um and stuff like that basically um we are going to I think put windmills in this vicinity, like maybe some windmills here, um, something. I'm not 100% sure how I want to do this. Uh, this path could continue on um, if that field goes away. Uh, I do want to put a granary um, and something along those lines right in here. Um, so that is going to be one of the next thing we're going to build. Uh, but I was kind of hoping for like a windmill here too. But we won't be able to fit a windmill in. Um, so that's the only problem with that. Uh, we might be able to squeeze in a warehouse here. Um, and the reason I want to squeeze in a warehouse here, uh, if I can, is because the warehouse will give us extra supplies and such. Just make it closer for the farm. Um, doesn't look like it's going to end up happening, uh, which is unfortunate. But life will go on. Um, we are going to be having a row, though, right about here. Actually, we're going to go ahead and lay out some of these houses here so you guys can kind of see what exactly I am talking about. Um, I'm going to try and rotate this guy a little bit more so he's square. 
Okay. Um, I'm going to make him nice and big. Uh, because the houses are normally longer this way than they are this way. As you can kind of see, that one's definitely true. I was kind of hoping to make this equal here. Um, now, I do know on this one we were getting slightly smaller, so we're going to try and spin this guy around and make sure that we're not getting smaller. Oh. Okay. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay. All right. And then this is where we're going to have a path, basically. There's going to be a pathway here. We're going to put some fountains down here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pause these houses because we don't need them up. Um, so some of the things that I did was I got these farm finished. I got the fields all set up so they're in the right rotation for this year. I've not hired a manager yet. I will do that here shortly. Um, are my fishing docks and stuff done? No, they are not. Um, that's something that we're a little behind on, but that's not a big deal. Uh, it's pretty easy to get fish. Fish are very quickly grabbed. Um, your people do have enough food when you're first starting out to last them, the nine families that lived here. Um, I also started to set up some of the market stalls. So that one's going to be all flour, oops, all potato, and all fish. Um, nobody is hired there yet because we don't need people there yet working there. So now we're just kind of waiting for them to finish these houses. Um, this is mainly the highest priority thing. Um, that's the thing that we need them to finish the most. Uh, the houses aren't too important because I think one of these houses... Oh, maybe not. Okay, so we do need one more house in order to get all of the... Uh, so all the starting families are there, all the founding families of the town are here, but we do need another house finished to be able to get more people to move in. Um, while that's happening, we're going to go ahead and start the placement of these extra water things, um, because you can never have too much water in this game. Uh, in late Later in the game, you'll notice, um, like we kind of did, uh, that I ran out of water um, when I started to make shoes. And that can be a slight problem. You don't want to run out of things. Um, but because that's going to be there, there's going to be a house like right here. So we're actually just going to, you know, we're just going to throw that house in um, as well. So that way we can get. Actually, if we just leave this blank, we could throw our windmills in here. This would not be a big deal. It'll look not too bad. Yeah, that looks good. Try and get it as close to these houses as we can. Alright. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So we'll get a windmill built here. And then we'll probably, after this little alley here, we'll put like... We're definitely going to put down a warehouse in this alley here somewhere. Okay. Get it as close to this warehouse as we can. Okay. And then we'll get a cart park here. And again, the... The cart parks are, are big, guys. Um, obviously, there's no carts in them, but uh, once we get carts in them, it makes things a thousand times easier. We're going to relocate all of these carts to this cart park so we can delete this one here just because it's not it doesn't look as good there. I prefer it to be here. Um, boom, all of those. Oh, no, there's still one cart out. Okay, easy. There it goes. <clears throat> okay, someone's going to relocate that now, and we can go ahead and demolish that one because we don't need that cart park anymore. Um, oh, boat yard is finished. So we're going to go ahead and slow it down here. We're going to hire two workers, okay? And we're going to order all the boats. Cool. And uh, we're just going to hire one worker just because um, to get things moving. And guys, yet again, it is now the end of May. We're going to go ahead and let you guys go. Uh, and I will cut back to this moment here. Uh, well, back to it here, probably around harvest in just a little bit. Okay, guys, and we are back. Um, so as you can see here, they have started to harvest, so we're going to hire some people back. Uh, they're probably not going to go. they got plenty of laborers, though, to do the job here. Um, they've harvested a decent amount, well, basically all of the wheat um, at this point. They just need to gather it up, bring it back. Uh, they're starting on the potatoes. Um, we do have our windmill finished. Uh, we finished our granary as well. Started building the warehouse. They haven't quite finished that yet. They finished the well. Um, 
I planted a tree here, kind of in the middle, because there's going to be like a little square here, because houses are going to continue down this way and down that way, and uh, same thing with on this side as well. Um, like I said, I kind of want to make it a nice little alleyway, but not really like an like a, an alley, if you know what I'm saying. Um, <clears throat> this is a nice little walk path here. Uh, I'm going to be able to put some um, hay bale things, hay storage here anyways, and hay storage here. Hoping I'm going to be able to fit in like hay dryers here maybe. Um, two or so here, maybe some along this way. Maybe, maybe not. Um, we'll figure those all out eventually once we get to the point where we get some cows. Hopefully we'll get cows and stuff like that much quicker. Um, we do currently have a, a, a slight problem. We don't have enough people in our village here to, to get them. And fish is all stocked. So we are going to hire somebody for that. Hope we find somebody. Uh, we did up, add a whole nother market here. Uh, it's basically firewood. We're going to go ahead and add a person in there, hope it's a female, um, because the females can't do much other than harvest here, um, which is odd, but, you know, it is uh, what it is. So. Um, we still do have five iron there. We are going to actually go ahead and unpause the town center here very, very, very shortly. Uh, you know, we're just going to go ahead and do it now. Um, there's not much else anyways. Um, get some of our people some of their income in. As you can see, we've spent... A decent portion of our money already. Um, hopefully we can get this thing in and uh, maybe get a trading post built here soon to start trading out some sunflower or something along those lines. If we don't do it in this video, we will get it in the third video for sure. Uh, I am going to try to cover two years in this video, so hopefully it won't be too long. Um, that's kind of why we're fast forwarding a little bit. Uh, but I just want to keep giving you guys updates on where we're at, what we're doing, um, basically what what I'm um, looking forward or what's uh, on the horizon and how we accomplished that stuff. Um, so as you can see, they do have 1.1 fish in here and they've got 0 0.3 fish there. Let's check out this. Okay, so there's still not enough food for sale. Um, I'm sure though once we get these potatoes harvested... Um, We'll be doing a lot better. We're going to have a lot of hemp just kind of saved up. Uh, we're going to hire someone for here. Take take some resources in. Um, and we're going to get somebody hired in here soon enough too. Hopefully we can get some potatoes over here and some decent amount of fish. And then once we get the potatoes and the fish, we should get enough people or some people to start moving in to give us some more population to do open up a few more jobs and then I'll open up the windmill I'll open up the warehouse over here um, and hopefully the fishing docks will be fully stocked we'll be able to find another thatcher I had to let him go so he could actually build the boats and he's actually fishing one of them now um, yeah that was the thatchery dude um, but like I said we're kinda kinda getting ready for you know our town development here I want it to look nice um, and, uh, very well, well done, like, we didn't just rush through it, you know? Um, I'm not sure where I want to put my trading post yet. I may put it back over here, I may put it here, um, both locations, like, this location looks like it'd be the best, um, yeah, you know, we're gonna put it over there, I like that idea, yeah, I like putting it over here. I like the trading post over there. I forget where it is. Sorry. I clicked on it too. Yeah, I like it being over here. This looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and tell them to put it over here, but we're going to go ahead and put it on pause uh, because we don't want them to build it just yet. Um, we are going to get these. Once this mainly is done here, we're going to go ahead and build... Um, other buildings such as the oil, sunflower oil building, um, and a carpenter. Yeah. So the oil workshop and a carpenter workshop. Or carpentry. Just what it's called. Weird name for a building, but our carpentry. Cool. Um, yep. Farm's doing just fine. Uh, we're going we're gonna to hire a manager, I think, at this point, um, 
just because it's easier. We're going to go ahead and tell that when to get fired. Uh, she came back as a laborer, I think. Okay, guys. Uh, it is coming up on the winter set in... Well, it's coming up on the end of October. It's going to be winter soonish. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward in time again. Hopefully, uh, this queue up here will be mostly finished. Um, and you'll see some new things in there. Uh, definitely want to try to get the oil workshop finished and maybe even maybe a textile uh, workshop. I don't know what they're called. Textile shop. Um, done in hopes to start producing clothes. Um, obviously, this is all long-term goals. I eventually want to get cows and chickens and uh, such but for now, we're going to work with what we've got. Oh, we don't have anybody producing any fish. Wow. Nobody's out there fishing. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our potatoes are at this point are harvested. Um, we can go ahead and let go two of those people. Sorry, uh, I'm going to let you go now. People here working the same part with worms. Okay, so I just want to quick bring you guys back in here. So, boom, this is our first family to move in. Um, they're bringing their own flour and their own potatoes, a little bit of their own firewood, and a little bit of their own drinking water. We do have plenty of drinking water here. We've got that one fully maxed out, and this one's also fully maxed out. Um, we do have some potatoes and fish for them to buy and firewood of their own. We do not have flour yet, but now that they are here, we will open up the flour shop. Uh, for one of them to find work. Um, we don't have this house. This house is still vacant. That is perfectly fine, though. We're going to go ahead and hire a worker there, and um, we're going to keep this all the same. We'll go through, and I'll fix these here. I'll add some more on. I'll get some more things queued up, but hopefully by the time winter is over, this will all be done. Um, please let me know what you guys think of how I'm doing this, uh, down in the comments, like if you like jumping forward, or if you just kind of want to watch me the whole time that I'm doing these things. Uh, I like to come back and just kind of explain everything to you guys, um, so that way I'm not making the videos too long, uh, and then I don't have to make, like, a thousand videos, I can just make 500. <laughs> let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments, please. Okay, guys, and we are back, um, so... Uh, not a whole lot has changed since you left. Um, we did actually place a carpenter's office, and then we rushed it to get uh, some of these carts built. Um, as you can see, some of our cart parks now have carts in them that didn't before, uh, just to help with resource movement, um, allowing more people to move the resources, allowing things to get built a little bit quicker. Um, our guy Hya is doing great. Uh, I did not hire anybody for flour. I forgot about that. Um, we did get two people to move in, so those houses are full. Um, slow progress on building this house, and even slower on this house. Um, I did mess around with the farm a little bit. Unfortunately, it's messed up slightly, and it might be my fault. It might be the game's fault. I've had this issue before. Uh, it doesn't always rotate the crops. I'm not sure exactly why, but it did rotate the fallow fields so it fallowed and then it rotated but it didn't rotate the ones that weren't on fallow I'm not sure why um, but it didn't uh, not a big deal um, but all of my fields are now have stuff in them um, we'll fix it next year uh, there's gonna be at least two fields possibly three fields that are really messed up um, up this house over here is finished and as you can see I mean just look at this guys this is gonna look real nice once we get this this other house in here oh man you can just see it now look at those nice little trees there oh boy 
Yeah. I mean, look at these houses going down the hill. Boom, boom, boom. This nice little opening there. Yeah. It's beautiful. Nice big walkway they got here. Beautiful. Grand Town Center. Um, we did go ahead and adjust the economy just a little bit. Um, basically to the settings that I prefer. Um, I kind of told you guys about those settings um, in my other videos um, in Season 1. Um, we'll go over them real quick. Uh, I dropped this down to 230. I increased this to 110 during every during basically summer, spring, and winter. And then I lower it back to 100 to 90% depending on how the economy is doing. Um, in fall during harvest season and I keep the housing rent at 35 well I increase it to 35 it's normally at 30 um, this normally still decreases my money but uh, it normally keeps a pretty well balanced uh, one the only problem though is most of the time if somebody is not working uh, if two people are not working it will not go over well for that family um, I don't know exactly why uh, that's the situation. I don't understand why people don't have two people working more, but it is what it is. Um, we placed down two extra houses here to get this row looking a bit nicer um, and to allow for more houses to come in. Um, we have 35 people in total in our lovely city here. Um, we have a lot of open jobs, uh, 33 in total. That looks weird, because um, we have one woman's job open and 31 men's job open, and there's only 31 in total. Uh, that's weird. Uh, we do have, we've had a decent amount of women looking for work, um, but there's still that one woman job available. Um, this cart park, yep, is full now. Uh, he's probably starting to work on the carts over here. Yeah, should be anyways. He's got four carts in queue, and this one's more than halfway done. We did queue up a oil workshop as well, so that'll get done hopefully before the end of this video. Um, so far, guys, we've spent about 310 ish dollars uh, out of our normal, our starting income um, in the first two years, which is not bad. Um, it's not great. It's definitely not bad. Actually, this is year number three. Um, and we're close to halfway through, actually, already with year number three. Um, so as you can see, all of our fields are planted this year. Um, two of them, well, this one here, we're going to get no sunflower yield um, from this field. We will get some from this field. Um, we'll get some hemp from this, not a whole lot, but a little. Uh, but we're going to get no, as you can see, there's no growth there. We're going to get nothing from that one. Um, yeah, it's, mistakes were made, things happen bad things happen really um it just didn't rotate it doesn't always rotate that's fine it's a new game it's still being worked out everything's still being figured out um and you just got to be careful it switches over um at some point and if you're paying attention you can catch it on the switch and fix it um but i wasn't really paying attention to it and we lost our carpenter Okay, so they're going to go ahead and build this house here, hopefully. We've got all four of our markets selling food and wood, which is great. Hopefully, by the end of this year, we will have um, these five buildings here that are queued, built. Um, that is the current goal, um, and I will pretty much um, let you guys know if we can achieve that goal or not. There is another thing that I wanted to show you, um, so I did some measurements. Um, and I'm going to put another fishing dock, like, right here. And because of that, it's going to stick out to here. And we can't put anything here anyways, so I threw down three benches. Um, I haven't seen anybody use them yet, and I don't think anybody will. Not for a little bit anyways, but I figured, you know what, we'll put three benches down there. Um, so people can get a nice little, you know, view of the lake. If they want to just sit and relax, check out the, the green lake for whatever reason. Um, not sure. Yep. Uh, Smithy is still ticking away. Oh my gosh, we still got 0.76 of iron in there. Come on. Just move the rest of it over. It can only hold five, though, I guess. So. Uh, and he is at maximum nails. Interesting. Okay, uh, this warehouse did get built, so we're going to go ahead now. Um, and we're going to increase the thatch here to 100. Because we can. We're going to put some nails in here. We're going to put, like, 200... Now we're gonna put yeah we're gonna put 500 nails in here 
um, just to kind of keep our smithy constantly working, our thatch guy constantly working. Um, we are also going to go ahead and move some wood. There it is, yep. I'm going to put some wood in here. Um, this will allow us to expand to the right of the village much, much more. Um, as it's easier to grab wood from here than to go back here and grab the wood, as this one does have its own cart park, so does this one. So it's um, it's one of those win-win situations. As long as you keep cart parks near the places where your resources are, you'll be perfectly fine. Um, so I would like actually to get another cart park up here. Um, probably not going to happen, though. Um, the more cart parks you have, the merrier you will be. Trust me on that. Life is a lot easier with more cart parks. Um, ch -ch -ch, there it is. Yep. Uh, as you guys can kind of see here, there's going to be a nice little tiny alleyway right here. Not going to be able to get it much other than just kind of like transportation use, as that guy just did. Um, but with that, that's very nice. This house is also just finished, so we only have a total of five things left to be built. I mean, four things left to be built, no, no longer five. Um, and we're going to go ahead and hire a guy in here. And we're going to check out the resupply options. I like to check all of these because look at all those workers that just have popped up. Boom. Um, the, that is great. That'll get this thing filled up with nails, iron, wood, thatch, whatever um, needs to be in here. Um, basically, the rest of this stuff, eventually we're going to get one that's going to hold our bark. Um... And then maybe even what that'll hold sunflowers, maybe, probably not. Um, the warehouse would probably, the workshop would probably just keep that. Um, yeah. So as you can see here, we do have a decent amount of potato. Why is this not? Okay. We'll go. I thought I already checked that. Anyways, this one's got a decent amount of stuff in it. It has reserved wood and nails. Um, that was probably from when it was being built. Somebody brought a little too extra much. Uh, but that's fine. No biggie. Um, yeah, so we did cut through about half of our wheat and half of our potatoes so far, um, and we are coming up to harvest here. Um, yeah, so harvest isn't going to change much. Um, obviously we're not going to get anything out of this field. They might get one basket. I don't even know if that's going to be the case. Um, that's fine though, because we do have some sunflower here, and we're not quite ready to produce it anyways, but we will be very, very shortly. Um, hopefully by next year we'll be able to start exporting and maybe even importing some of our uh, some of our things like cows and such. Um, I do want to start working on expanding more. Um, so that way we can get a second farm in here so we can get a second farm to do our hemp and stuff. So that way we don't have to worry about that. Put our sunflower and hemp in its own little farm. Um, and we also are going to go ahead and start working on a textile, um, what are they actually called? Textile workshop. Okay, it's pretty much everything's workshop. Got it. Okay, guys, so, um, it is now August. Harvest has started, so we're gonna have abundance of resources. I'm putting that in air quotes. I know you guys can't see that, because, um, we already have an abundance. We're gonna go ahead and drop this down to 100, percent um because our money is going down as you can see it's 666 well it was um it's going down a, not not a lot though um so it's not too big of a deal uh we're up to about 40 people in our community um so everything is pretty good there uh so some of these fields as you can see their nutrients are completely gone which is a bummer um and we'll lose out on a few resources next year but we've got so much in reserve right now that it's not going to matter too much. Um, but hopefully after next year, the resource situation will be all figured out and we won't have to waste multiple fields following. Yeah, see, and our money's actually going back up now. Um, it just kind of depends uh, if they're buying or not. That's really all it is. Um, yeah. As you can see, we still have this here. It's got half of an iron in there. Okay, it can't quite fit in there. Uh, do we have a carpenter? Yes, we do. There's no orders. 
we're going to go ahead and fire you just because we need you doing something else to get some of these other things finished up. Um, guys, okay, I'm going to go ahead and drop you off, and I'll pick you guys back up around November, maybe December-ish. Okay, guys, and we are back. Um, so just kind of to pass on some more uh, things that have happened or things that have not happened. Um, as you can see here, they have started to make a dent in this force, which is fine. Um, I do want to keep this force for the most part. Uh, so we are going to go ahead. Uh, I'm going to slow this down here a second so I can explain a little bit more because uh, we are in December, which is going to be the end of the video here. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we are going to go ahead and plant some trees. We're going to plant pine trees in here uh, to kind of remake up this mess here so it's kind of more uniform. Um, we're going to go ahead and fire everybody but one guy there because um, we did have to fire our smithy to get some of our jobs done. Same thing with our thatcher. So we're going to rehire those guys. Uh, we're going to keep this all the same. That's fine. They're still gathering materials out of here anyways. We've got one guy in here, one girl in here, one girl in here technically. Our market stalls are perfectly fine. Storage, still that half iron in there, and we're going to rehire a guy back in here. We fired one person just because our logs were maxed. Uh, one person, if there is a maximum number of logs, he can still replace the wood, the fire, and the bark all by himself. He just cannot replace the logs. Um, we do have a total of um, 49 people in the village, um, but please do remember to take that with like basically a grain of salt. Um, that does not mean we have 49 people who can and are willing to work. No, we have closer to 30 people in total that can work. Um, whether those 30 people are all willing, well, that's a different story or not. Uh, I kind of wish it said would say here how many jobs are totally, or like how many jobs there are in total in my city. So that way I can see like, okay, there's 21 men jobs and nine of the men are working so boom that's 30 men jobs in total obviously that quota can't be met but just kind of for my reference uh that's not been added in yet um i may actually drop that in the reddit uh if you guys have not checked out the reddit um on the reddit there's a bunch of people who ask questions and stuff like that um i do partake in the reddit on um on there uh, and I actually answer a decent amount of questions. I help people. I, I really like this game, and I want other people to like it as well, because the more people that um, purchase this game, or that help the developer anyways in some cases, uh, the more likely the game is to become an actual game, not just a beta version or an alpha version, actually, of a game. That was once a thought, but then... You know, whatever might happen. Um, as you can see here, we do have these two houses built uh, from our queue. They started to work on the oil workshop basically right as you guys came in. Um, now, in order to fix my fields here, I have to deactivate this one and this one. Not this one. This, no, it was this one. Yeah, this one. Sorry. Yep, I read it wrong. Um, so that's going to have a total of four fields are going to fallow next year, which is fine. Not a big deal. Um, it is a slight bummer, but no, nothing uh, that's too major. Um, with that, we do look here, and it just says we need more housing. So if we get more housing, more people will come. Um, we're going to start a strip of houses down this way and maybe pick up here again um, for a few houses at least. Uh, go back that way. We're definitely going to expand houses over here. And I think I'm going to get an oil farm going on over here, a uh, little sunflower farm going over here to produce oil, which is relatively close. And then the uh, the trading post, they are now bringing resources to, which means they should start building it. And we will definitely be able to start trading resources next episode for sure, guys. Um, as you can see, we are up to 51 people now, but still 30 adults. Do remember that... Even these people here, once their daughter reaches the age of 18, 20, 30, she will still be living with her parents. Her parents will not die, and she will not have a job. Um, just kind of want to throw that out there to let everybody know. Um, so far, as of now, there is no death mechanic in the game. There is 
I hear that there's going to be added one because there is a graveyard that's, um, I think, in his plans for the next update. Uh, and obviously there is medical. Um, I'm not sure if diseases and stuff like that are going to be added in. I kind of hope not because I feel like a disease would be really hard to combat in this game. Um, you know, people dying from sickness, like the flu or something along those lines, that's, I guess that's a disease still, but, you know, if you die from, like, the common cold or something along those lines, just being sick is, is a little different than, like, you know, like, the Black Death coming in or something like that, because you, you'd be screwed, really. I mean, you're such a small city, everybody's working so close and living so close, you know, it would be really hard. Um, so I hope nothing major like that would come. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, it is halfway through January of the next year. Um, this is where we're going to stop it. Uh, as you can see, the oil factory actually did get finished on time, so we're just going to go ahead and tell them to start bringing resources to it. Because um, we do have, what, 23 uh, sunflower there. Um, we've got our 14 potatoes stored in here, 5 flour stored in there. We've got a little bit of potato and wheat there. Um, got some wheat here and our flour and our potatoes, our fish. Um, I'm noticing in this one I'm having a little bit of trouble with the fishery staying stocked, um, the fish fishing docks staying stocked with uh, people. Um, not 100% sure why. And I also did notice the growth and development of my city was slightly slower with putting the thatter, thatchery and the clay pit outside of the town. However, it's not a big deal if you want more of an aesthetic look to your community and on the next episode guys look forward to trading obviously some trading um another farm will definitely be added in next episode and i will be teaching you guys how to replant trees and how to make it not so much of a nightmare but it's going to be a nightmare still uh we are going to add some houses um over here and over here and we'll add in a few more workshops, such as textile workshop, maybe clothing workshop, um, maybe even get some chickens in next episode. Um, please stay tuned. Please let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments. Um, ask me questions. I will answer them the best I can in my next episode. And I will see you guys all on the next episode.